Hey guys, Ash here from CurseForward.com and we've been seeing a lot of new devices these days. It's all about faster processors, more RAM, newer versions of Android and what do they all aim to achieve? It's all about getting things done as quick as possible. So that's exactly what we're going to talk about in this video. We are going to take a look at the top 10 apps that are going to let you multitask faster. All the apps on this list work on any Android device. I know the title of this video says Galaxy S4. It's just that I'm, I'm demonstrating it on the Galaxy S4. It will work on any uh, Android phone or tablet that you have. So let's get started. The first app on the list is Pi Control. So what it lets you do is launch uh, different shortcuts or different apps or toggles uh, no matter where you are. So say for example, I can launch Flipboard just like that. And uh, I can quickly jump into gallery or I can come back more to uh, the browser that's Chrome in this case. So that's by control. So you can set it to launch uh, from the left like a half or you can select it to launch from the right as well. You can set the size of the pie. Uh, what I like about it is you can change everything about it as in the color. Right now I've got it at green so you want red, you can do that. And the same for focus. So now it's going to look like this. Okay, sorry. It's going to look like this. Uh, so you get two levels of Pi here. That is the first level. You see I've got stuff like gallery, flipboard, chrome, maps, and the optical reader. In the second, uh, second level, I've got toggles. That's my data toggle. Group play. I've got uh, the contacts and uh, Bluetooth and so on so that's the notification bar uh, another thing you can do is you can also set actions for long pressing stuff so right now as you can see my f the first one over here is gallery long pressing on it actually launches uh, the camera I've set it that way how do we do this let's take a quick look at Pi controls okay this is to activate the clock that you see on top this is the level one. So the first button is gallery. Long click, I've set it to camera. Second button, flipboard. I don't have anything for long click and so on. So if you want to change something, just tap on it. And it just loads uh, the list of apps that you have. You can select every app that you have uh, from here. Or you also get some extra options like you can have it uh, get you back home, task, back, menu, data on off, toggles as well. So that's pretty much what Pi Controls can do. So moving on, the next app on the list is Dock for Droid. So again, swapping from the side, you get a dock over here, similar to what you find on Macs. And uh, you can select what apps you, you find over here and you want to launch something, just hit it, it launches. Again, from any uh, app, you can still select it. Flipboard, uh, not launching. I can just uh, uh, go close it. Or I can just hide the hide it for about five seconds. It's gone. So we're coming back. Uh, now let's just quickly go into dock for droid. The dock orientation to the right or to the left. The activation area, position, uh, the width of the area. You can alter that. Again, you've got visibility height. You can select more options. You can either select uh, select set it to show. The re, uh, recent apps, so that's five recent apps there. Again, uh, what apps you want uh, want to be shown all the time. So say for example, I select uh, Google settings over here, group play, internet, and save it. Now if I open it, these three are going to be ever present. The rest are going to be uh, the recent apps that I just used. So that's pretty good. You've got a lot of options over here. It's pretty simple to understand. You can just uh, go through it if you're interested in it. So that's Talk for Droid for you. So the next moving on, the next app on the list is Swipe Pad. So let me just first turn off Talk for Droid here. All right, so going back. All right, so this is Swipe Pad. So how Swipe Pad works is again, pretty similar to what we've been seeing so far. Just drag it from one end and you're gonna, you have a list of apps that you have set. The free version does not let you launch, uh, what do you say, recent apps, but the paid version does. It's about 
a dollar I guess uh, if you really like it you can get the paid version so jump into gallery again go back home you've got quite a few options here you can enable it label position above the icon or below uh, haptic feedback for it sound on launch got quite a few options going into pads that's the default pad hotspots uh, the pads option is where you can actually add a new pad that is uh, with uh, the pay uh, paid add-on once you do that you can have it set as to every time you swipe from the right it uh, you get to see whatever you set up swipe from the left you can actually have it show your recent apps and so on so kind of takes the functionality up a notch but then again it's paid so uh, if you really like it you can get that so when you have swipe pad open uh, you can just hold it somewhere just hold it for a few seconds and once it turns orange you can uh, change it change the icon over there so you can go into applications select a different app that you want say email and uh, again I can select apps shortcuts and that's pretty much it so that's swipe pad for you so the next app on the list is Glovebox. So this is just, again, similar to what we saw with Doc for Droid, but it's just a different way uh, that it shows the app. So you've got the recent apps over here. So you can just uh, select your recent apps. Just uh, move a little further, you get your recent apps. You can, you can also have a pre-existing set of apps that you want. So you can just, there you go, I jump into Chrome. So, okay. There you go. Now off the Dropbox camera. Again, guys, most of these don't work from the camera, so don't worry about it. That's how it is. Uh, let's quickly go into Clubbox to see what our options it offers. So there you go. Bar content is where you add the uh, content that you saw, the different icons and stuff that you want. So applications. It even lets you, lets you launch widgets, but on premium version. That is, you need to pay for it. Uh, actions, so home and recent apps are two actions you have. You can also set a folder. Pretty much uh, all you can do with it. So going back, they've got folders, blacklist, configuration. So again, you can move where, which area needs to be activated. You can change that from here vibrate on touch transition effects sensitivity level now keep in mind another way glove box differs from uh, you know others like truck for droid is the fact that it allows folders which is basically a second level here of apps that you can select and other things like uh, say for example i'm in dropbox i just swipe through it totally and it brings me back to the home screen so uh, again from glove box you find this under configuration where the full swipe option uh, is what uh, selects what happens once you've done, once you've swiped it fully. So moving on, the next app on the list is Swaps. So that's Swaps for you. So you've got your recently used apps over here. You can add a few start apps. So whatever you think uh, you're gonna access uh, mostly. And how it differs from the rest on the list is that you can also access all your apps from here. So your, your entire app list can be found over here so let's quickly go into the uh, app itself so you've got the general settings here enable it haptic feedback indicator icon in the status bar transparent indicator icon you get quick scroll this adds alphabetical pop-ups so how it works is that you can just quickly scroll through it as per alphabets so going back you can show all apps or you can also turn the showing all apps option off so now if your all apps not the whole uh, the entire app list will not be shown just your start and your recently used and you can also select the number of start apps that you want it can be as high as 100 and the recently used apps again up to 15 so that's pretty much it the general settings and then active spot settings again uh, the active spot width you can change that the height as well change it 
mm, that's how it is. So you've got it to the left or to, uh, you can set it to the right. And then you've got appearance settings, uh, the slide and animation. A lot of these are logged, as in you select something, you need to go for the paid version over here. But there are quite a few uh, things you can change about it. Uh, if you like it enough, you can get the uh, paid version as well. So, uh, guys, we've been we are through five apps on the list right now, and that's all the time we have for this episode of Android Tips. The link to the next part of this video, that is the next episode of Android Tips, is annotated onto the video, and you can also find it in the description. But before you go to that, before you go ahead, click that. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. So. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you guys liked it. So keep in mind every time you hit like, subscribe or favorite a video, it increases the odds of YouTube suggesting it to others. So just help me out. Uh, hit like, subscribe, favorite it and uh, leave a comment if you think there's any uh, other multitasking app that I might have left out of the list. Uh, if you think, if you feel there's something else that should have been included, let me know in the comment section. So. That's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Till then, it's Ashio from Cusbova.com signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.